So let me fast forward. There was uh, some troll who who posted on the the podcast. Um, this this specific podcast, and you could read my response, but I wanted to answer the question of the troll. So the the troll created an account that was a play on my name. So instead of Walker Reynolds, they did Rocker Reynolds, right? Put my the first letter of my last name and first letter of my first name and flipped them around. So it's obviously a troll account. Number two, they obviously took issue with the fact that I was saying that end users, you know, hey, customer, uh, lots of end users are telling us that they're not happy with their integrators and they're asking for advice on how they can pick the, ne- the right integrator going forward. I can back up my, my claims and my arguments, okay? If, if somebody wants to come on and put the positive spin on the vendor agreements as it relates to digital transformation, and they want to come on the podcast, I'm happy to have them on, okay? They're gonna, but I'll even give you the questions you got to answer. I'll even give them to you beforehand, okay? N- number one, you got to ask, what is that vendor, what is that vendor supposed to do when the that vendor who's entered into an agreement is supposed to do when their based on their expertise they know that what's best for the customer the best solution they should pick in this layer of the stack this the be, the patch that they're going to put in this quilt this patch here it go stands in direct opposition to the the agreement that they entered into with that vendor okay and even, even organizations who say that they want you to recommend to your customer the, the best solution, don't mean it. Like if a vendor bring, gives you a, a lead, says, hey, so-and-so filled out a form, we talked to them, they're kind of interested, they need an MES system, we know you do MES, and I, and I own a platform that I want you to build the MES system in, and then you go to that customer and you realize the customer isn't sold on that platform, they're really looking for MES expertise they're not looking for expertise for that specific vendor yet. They haven't even settled on it, okay? If you recommend, if you real, if based on your experience, you know they should go in a different direction and you don't tell them, then you are, you've told where your, your loyalty lie. Your loyalty lies to the vendor, not to the customer, okay? And the, it's not in the best interest for the customer to, to hire integrators who are loyal to the vendors over them. I mean, is any customer going to come on here and, and say that? Of course not. Ever, this troll is obviously pissed off that I'm the one who's pointing it out publicly. It doesn't make it not true. Okay, I'm sorry your feelings are hurt. I'm sorry that you're probably you probably enter into vendor agreements and you don't want me telling people the downside. You don't want me telling end users the downside of working with partners, systems integrators, and consultants who have vendor agreements where they have to meet certain sales goals, okay? And that's where I think the problem is. All right, so he asked this question, though. He said, he or she, I'm assuming it's a he, he says, um, what kind of corner is a client painting themselves into if they work with Intellic Integration and 4.0 Solutions, Right? Because you've got Walker saying one thing, he's the chairman of Intellic Integration, and he's the, the talking head and the educator of 4.0 Solutions. What kind of corner is he painting himself their, themselves into? So I'll answer the question, okay? So to answer that question, let's start here. What is my role at Intellic Integration? I am the chairman of the board, I own the company. But I am not involved in the day-to-day operations of Intellic Integration at all. My My um, responsibility is once a month in board meeting. And number two, it is, if you look at the strategy, how the business is designed to run, where solutions for clients originate, okay? And how we're supposed to attack from a project methodology, um, an iterative methodology for those customers, that, that all came from me. The values come from me and the mission comes from me. Okay, that's where my responsibility relationship and day-to-day operations at Intellic ends. So, how is Intellic constructed? Well, Intellic is constructed no matter where an opportunity comes from, no matter what customer is hiring us, who we're working with, everything starts with a really simple concept. 
If we're doing digital transformation for this customer, that customer must have a digital strategy, they must have an architecture, and they must have minimum technical requirements before you ever break ground. If they have those things, then you can move into proof of concept. They don't have those things, they've got to do a digital transformation maturity assessment and be scored so that the out that they know where they're starting and the output is strategy, architecture, minimum technical requirements. Okay, I, I wrote that strategy. And then the strategy that shows you how you're supposed to iterate, okay, how you're supposed to decide whether or not to move on to the next solution with that during that engagement, where education comes in, when you're supposed to train them. Uh, when you're supposed to do the handoff, how you're supposed to build a team, all that came from me. None of that's vendor specific. None of it. There's no vendors on there in any way, shape, or form. Uh, the, va the five values that everybody at Intellic Integration is supposed to operate on, they came from me, okay? So transparency, authenticity, expertise, humility, servant leadership. The, the basic principles of digital transformation, they come from me. Okay, the technology, edge-driven, report by exception, lightweight, open architecture. Okay, so the corner you're painting yourself into is an agnostic corner. Okay, one that is built on values and one that is built on a system uh, or on a, on a workflow that is designed to always do what's best for the end user. Now, I don't give a shit if a client chooses to work with us or doesn't choose to work with us. We say no to more clients than we say yes to. Okay vast majority, the vast majority of people who want us to do our, do projects with them, we don't do. I assure you, I've worked for other integrators. I partner with other integrators. Other integrators aren't doing that. <laughs> okay. So you're not, you're painting yourself into a corner where we're highly selective about who we work with. Okay. 4.0 solutions. I do work at 4.0 solutions. I, I, I am highly involved in the day-to-day -day operations and 4.0 solutions is all about educating the community. I, what we do is we take what we learned at Intellic Integration and we're literally educating the community on it. Some for free, some paid. Some of the, the only stuff that we ask the community to pay for is the stuff that we don't wanna to give to competitors who would use it to exploit their customers. Because you have to be operating on a certain, on a certain set of core values um, in this industry. Otherwise, you're a piece of shit. Okay, let me just say that. You are. Okay? I have seen it with my own eyes over and over and over again how super, super gifted engineers take the fact that they know something their customers don't know. And I don't mean they have a skill their customer doesn't have. What I'm saying is, is they have an insight into that customer's future and they and they actually make a decision a recommendation to that customer that they know in their minds if they were if they look at it is not optimal for that customer it happens all the time and if you're an end user you know this it's happened to you it's happened to you you've had people sell you licenses you didn't need you had people sell you hardware you didn't need you had people sell you service agreements you didn't need. You had people bill you for hours they didn't work. Okay? You have people write a change order for you for something that falls in a gray area and doesn't cost anything. Yet they want the extra money on it. You've had, you've had this experience. Okay? You've also had a project end have another integrator come in and reveal some other product to you that would have cost you less, taken less time to integrate, and would have been scalable longer term that your previous integrator never told you about. And guess what? They fucking knew it existed. Right? I, I, th this isn't just my experience. What I'm saying here resonates with end users. Why? Because they live it every day. I'm one of the few integrators, if you paint yourself into a corner with us, what you're going to get is a guy who tells you the truth, no matter how it makes you feel. You're going to have an agnostic consultant who is going to give you his honest professional opinion over 23 years, half of it working for the end user, the other half working for as a consultant who built 
a, re, uh, a repeatable framework, a repeatable architecture that helps manufacturers do more with less, all in service of saving and creating middle-class jobs in the United States. And guess what? I don't care if you work with me. What I care is that you're using agnostic integrators. What I care is that you're using the right technology. What I care is that you're starting with a strategy. What I care is that you are writing minimum technical requirements and you're playing the long game. Why? Because the people who work in your organizations are counting on you to do optimal. What's best for, uh, in, a, in a micro, that is our organization, and macro community. County, state, country. All right? So the this is an important point, and I, I'm not overly mad at the troll guy. I, I wish the troll would just reveal who they are, come on, have a conversation. Okay, trolls, they, be, they hide behind anonymity because they know they're wrong. They know they can't defend their positions. That, what that is is somebody who is, probably works for a premier integrator, is, if I'm being honest with you, is a premier integrator, um, and is pissed off that I'm, you know, I'm telling the truth. Okay? Um, but, I mean, which corner do you want to be painted into? agnosticism, truth, or do you want, do you want somebody to be doing something that's against your best interest and you don't even know about it? Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video with anyone who you think might be interested, and I will see you in the next one.